In this country where there's a history of election fraud, people, especially the losing candidates, find it quite hard to trust the poll results. 67 days before the midterm elections, Carol Ramoran tells us how some aspirants lose graciously in this Inform in 100 report. They see in the Philippines no one really loses an election. Some would even go as far as saying being a sore loser is in the Filipino fiber. Some candidates, especially in the last elections, did the unthinkable, concede the elections, shying away from the normal, unsportsmanly behavior. Red Cross Chairman Richard Gordon ran in the 2010 presidential elections. He came in sixth. Gordon says there's little to gain in being a sore loser. Well, ganun talaga. Kaya nga ginawa ko yung automated election law para mabilis ang bilangan eh. Pag mabilis ang bilangan, baka mabagal ang bilangan, kinakansyawa na yung mga kandidato na, oh, dinadaya ka na. So, iba tinataob yung urna, nagagalit sila, pumapatay sila ng tao. Eh, pag pa mabilis, eh, mabilis, tapos ka agad. But, you know, of course, hindi ko sinasabing walang daya na nakarang eleksyon. Gordon says he is not saying that there was absolutely no cheating in the 2010 elections, but he says automation did help in diminishing it. He says even if the automated elections do become foolproof, there will always be sore losers. Ay, ano mo, kahit ayusin mo yan, meron pa rin mamimili ng boto. But the trouble is, meron ka na ba narinig na vote buying? Meron ka ba narinig na nakulong dyan sa mga bagay? So it's enforcement. Comelec Chairman Sixto Brillantes, also an advocate of the automated elections, agrees with Gordon. Sana wala na ngayon under the automated system. Mm -hmm. No 2010, first automated, marami pa nagsasabi na daya kami. Marami nag-file ng protesta. Pero I hope ngayon hindi na sasabihin niya. He says that in this year's elections, if candidates will claim their votes were stolen, it will be much easier to check their claims. Brillante says that with a better election system, electoral protests may also be avoided. He says that such protests can sometimes take time and may even carry over its burden to the next elections. Take the protest of current Interior Secretary Mar Rojas against Vice President Binay, who he accused of stealing the vice presidency in the last election. It's not really moving very fast, so tatlong taon na matatapos na. It does not really move. Based on our monitoring of the PET case, mm -hmm. hindi pa gumagalaw masyado. So, siguro, bahala na ang PET dyan. Sila naman ang may discretion. Tapos namin lahat ang protesta. H-RET, tsaka dito sa COMELIC. PET, hindi pa gumagalaw. Pero presidential naman, uh, vice presidential. So, nationwide. Maraming problema kasi yung Renees eh. Brillantes assures the public as well as the candidates that though the PICOS machines are encountering various criticisms and suits, the upcoming elections will push through. And with automation, he says it will be virtually impossible to infiltrate the country's voting system. For now, we will just have to wait and see. Carol Romoran, Solar News.